Hi guys, putting in with the game for you in my tier 7 premium British battleship, the Nelson. Now my captain skills will be priority target, check of all trades, expert marksman, basics of survivability, superintendent, AFT, and concealment. My modules will be protect my main battery, better aim, and damcom 1 and 2. Now, before I kind of get into this gameplay, I'm going to go off topic a little bit. Uh, I was lucky enough to play in the World of Warships uh, Legends, which is pretty much World of Warships on the consoles. And anybody who owns a PS4 and Xbox, uh, you may want to download the game. For the simple fact of, it was kind of enjoyable. Uh, the controls were nice. Uh, the HUD layout, I'm so used to the PC uh, layout, it took a little bit getting used to uh, the console layout and, and the console controls, but I think they did a fairly good job uh, with with the controls for that. Now, I know it was a beta, so I know it's not the final live product. Uh, I just hope to see a little bit more options as far as maybe changing the HUD lay layout uh Things like that, but you know what? It was a really fun game. It was a really fun experience. You may be asking yourself, well, why was it fun on the console? You know, PC Master Race. It was the lack of a chat box. Plain and simple, it came down to the lack of the chat box. Now, one of the things I would like to see is a GG or good luck in the... Uh, it, it, in, in the wheel there, you know, the, the wheel commands would be the only thing I'd like to see, but because there was no chat box, there was no taxis, toxicity. The other thing that I really did like was there was no, your post-battle results were just the very first screen you see. There was no where you landed in a team. Uh, there, there wasn't a detailed report. I would like to see the detailed report, but there was no where like, who was one and who was last on the team? I thought that was really nice because it kind of emphasizes either you won or you lost. It's a team game. While sometimes people do a little bit more than others, you can't discredit the guys that do less because they still did something. Uh, simply being shot at sometimes is just enough to give good players time to turn out... Uh, get into a better position. But of course, I had HE loaded like a scrub. And I decided, and I let loose on this guy. I wasn't paying attention to my ammo choice. But it definitely looked like uh, somebody else whacked him good. And I don't know why this guy's letting us burn. But, I mean, Legends, I enjoyed it. If you get a chance to try it out, try it out. Uh, very interesting, very enjoyable, uh, and I mean, plain and simple, the, just the chat box toxicity wasn't there, which is kind of why I chose the one and only Battleship game I got. Uh, to showcase, I finished off what somebody else started. I do believe New Mexico was the one who... New Mexico. The New York probably got a good whack on him. But I'm using the Nelson because I'm doing the Exeter missions. Uh, I know I'm not talking too much about the gameplay because I kind of went over why you use AP on the Nelson because it's 406 is at tier at tier 7 is so powerful. But the one thing that a lot of people do forget about the Nelson is Everything in their mother, mother that is a battleship can go right through your nose, too. So you don't exactly want to go straight by when You want an angle a little bit to give it some angles to maybe get some bounces. The other thing is, you don't have to play the bow in type style. You, you can angle when you are kiting and, well, you're going to have to angle when you're kiting just to get your guns into play. But even when you're going... Uh, forward and attacking the team. 
Now, the Conan actually did a good job of messing with his speed also to throw me off, but I thought I caught it, but I didn't catch how badly he reversed. Reversed, or slowed down. <clears throat> now, over the weekend, I, you know, I was doing, uh, oh crap, there's a DD in front of me. <laughs> I wish I had EAG loaded now. But over the weekend, luckily, this guy stops, smokes up, and I'm like, you know what? Take the chance. Go for it. Make the turn. I know I'm kind of getting all over the place, guys, and I just I have a lot to say, and there's only 14 minutes left in this game at the max. But I was playing uh, Worship Le Legends on the Xbox, uh, which I really haven't even touched since I got a PC, which has been ov almost over a year ago. Uh, I was playing it, and like I said, I enjoyed it. The Division 2 came out. I enjoyed the Division 1, uh, so I got Division 2, and I've been playing that uh, a little bit too, so like I am, you know, I'm not just playing World of Warships, because I'm because if I stick with World of Warships, I'm just going to get burnt out. As I was switching ammo choices, knowing that the Icarus smoke was not going to last particularly long. Now, I was trying to not look at the DD, make him think in case he was wearing a part of target that I was targeting him. But I'm still going to take the shot no matter what the indicator says. As the island indicator just popped up and... Four penetrations with a fire and two incapacitations. God knows what we broke, but we know he is hurting. Now, when I saw the DD backing up, I knew I was only going to get one shot and one shot only, which is why you now see me with the glorious 406 AP loaded. Now, the other thing you can notice is a couple things. One, the guy in chat goes, Woof Nelson, that hurt. Wasn't being pissed off about it. He was just trying to be funny, and I should have should have acknowledged it. But there's a lot going on for me today, and I just, you know, I, laziness. Not gonna lie, it was just plain out laziness. Uh, but I mean, you know, this is. This game is kind of a friendly atmosphere. Nobody's being a jerk. Nobody's being an ass. Nobody's calling anybody out. I may be saying stuff to myself like, ah, jerk, you're broadside. But I'm saying that to myself. I'm not typing in chat. I'm not being toxic in chat. Which I can't trust enough is what I absolutely love about Legends. There was no stat shaming, none of that crap. And I just, I can't stand... Stat I, I really don't like stat shaming, but I ain't going to lie, not like I haven't done it when people are sitting there being jerks to me, being assholes to me, being tell, telling me I don't know what the hell to do, and because I'm dead, because I screwed up, I made a mistake, and some idiot's making fun out of me, I'm like, I go look up his, you know, I tab out, look up his stats, I'm like, dude, you, 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 you know, you're sub 50%. Maybe it's not the team. Maybe it's you. You know, I, I try not to be too toxic, but I'm not innocent at it at all. And as we can see, what I did to poor Icarus. Now, I can't remember actually why I had the AG loaded, but I do believe it was because I was going to be going destroyer hunting. As I managed, managed to finish what I started, but as you can see... When I saw his health, I knew even if I missed, the AP alone will kill him. <clears throat> now, for the most part, the New York and myself uh, have been kind of holding this side alone. You may say, really? There was, you guys had your DD? As you can see, this guy had no interest in... Uh, and here's the destroyer that I killed again, going, darn it, Nelson, lol. Like, you know, the guy had a good attitude, and I really, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I really wished I would have complimented him, and I didn't, and that's bad on me. Uh, 
not all the mistakes and not all the bad things you do necessarily are in game. And oh crap, there's an Exeter, and I do believe he has eight kilometer torpedoes. I can't recall. Ironically, I can't get a Citadel on a broadside Exeter, but I do manage to incapacitate a gun, which means they may be out of sync. But our New York has retreated. Uh, and I kind of don't blame him. It's kind of a toss-up of what's going to go on over here. Uh, I just wish he didn't retreat as far, could have stayed with us a little bit. I, I wouldn't have minded if he stayed behind us and let the the higher tiers go first. Uh, but just having him over here uh, would have been nice, but uh, going to be unnecessary. At this point, I wish I had a plane because I put it up to find out where the Exeter went to because I know this is going to be dangerous. I'm turning out and then I'm going to turn back in because I actually want to get as close to this island as possible. And the other thing is if the Exeter sent a preemptive torps, I'm kind of hoping he sent it a little bit closer to the island to where I'm taking this a little bit more uh, broadside and... His preemptive torps, my hat's off to him. Unfortunately, he got a little bit greedy uh, trying to get the second set off. Uh, and, you know, his his decision was made when he went, uh, when he got this close to get his torpedoes off. Now, it looks like the poor Koenig uh, disconnected. Uh, and usually the way you can tell if somebody disconnects is their guns go neutral with the ship, but his guns are looking at the destroyer. So he actually may be AFK. I don't know. The guy clearly is not in spawn, so... I, I th This is definitely hurting his team. Now, the... Uh, the German battleship, I can't pronounce, the Gneisenauer... Is going to do something a little like, why, dude? Like, our guns are going to kill this thing so much faster. It's already on fire. He's sending us torpedoes. Now, there was no way I was going to run into him. These were safe torpedoes. I wasn't going to cut in. I'm trying to cut to the outside, have this guy come to the inside. Uh, because what that's going to do is actually give us uh, a little bit better of a 2v2. As I'm failing to turn with the running aground symbol, I thought I would be safe, and nope, I run aground. This was not tactical, this was just like, ugh, I thought I'd make it by, and I failed. And we all know what that's called, so I pulled a good old-fashioned knot, sir. But this game is mm, far from over. Our Z-39 is extremely low. Our Furutaka is extremely low. And our New York is extremely slow. There's an Ioba, there's a Leander, and then there's the enemy Nelson. Now, nobody's near full health. Uh, I've already printed one ship, so I kind of don't have a Uber heal I will have a very good heal uh, because the the super heal really is like you get it one time you heal all that back and it's very rare that you can get three or four more like really good or the the, the super heals off usually it's gonna be like a really good and you're gonna heal a bunch back and you're gonna see that thing still ticking it's like oh man try to take more damage but that's why I say I've already printed the ship once as the Leander Torps the Ganais and it looks like the Ganais fails to Torp the Alba manages to finish off the uh, Furious Taco and this is why I say this game is far, far, far from over except for that lucky Citadel. Ah, look. Managed to finish off the Alba and kind of at this point I noticed that's cracking. And I'm just thinking, don't you, Dee Dee, be smart, don't shit, uh, don't, don't shit, don't shoot, and, and die. And 
you know, I, 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 there's no need, and I see him shooting, I'm like, no! I'm like, one of these shells should just kill him, hopefully. No! Over pen! And then I'm like, ah, oh, crap, okay, the notes to me are on equal health, so... Worst case scenario, Leander kills the Z-39, I'm going to finish off the Leander. It's just a matter of if it's going to be this salvo, or the next one. Please no more overpens. Or if I get overpens, let it be five. There's plenty to kill him. But worst case scenario, like I said, Leander... Yes. Prakken at least. Leander dies. The D dies, and then I die to the Nelson, which leaves the New York, who I believe is extremely healthy, up against the Nelson. Now, the other thing is, Z-39... Uh, and I noticed this after I got it. Uh, enjoy your Kraken. It was just trying to get him low enough to guarantee the kill, I believe, or to draw the Leander's at attention away from me. Once again, I failed to compliment this guy. I should have. It's bad on me. And, you know, it's not a game-breaking mistake, really. It's just... To me, it's a mistake. These guys should have gotten compliments, and they didn't. Because good banners play well, good banners. You know, people should be recognized and rewarded for that, and it's very few times that you do. The reason I got the Kraken, Z39 helped with damage and drawing the Leander's attention away from me. Leander knew I was here. Now, the only question is what's going on with the enemy, Nelson. We know, I, I've got a, yep, I had a suspicious feeling he was coming towards me, and, you know, I see him shoot HG, and I'm thinking, okay, he's got to be doing the Exeter missions, which, uh, the Nelson is the correct ship for the battleship fire, I, I hate to say it, the other two, no, but I'm thinking, like, does this guy not know I can go through his nose, and... Like, if you get the number three turret to go, you're starting to show a little bit too much side. So I recognize this fact. Recognize that he's shooting AG. And this guy, may or may not have, made one heck of a smart play. And I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He baited me into going bow into him. Now, I'm trying to go through his nose and get a Citadel. And, of course, I gave it away. This guy baited me going straight bow in as just look at that damage. But luckily I had to heal. Now, of course, what I'm going to do is one of two things. Was going to ram him or I'm going to wait for these guns to reload and kill him. And as soon as these guns are reloaded, he's good as dead. Too much broadside. So now the post battle results. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did not enjoy my ramblings, I apologize. It's just been one of those weeks so far already uh and i really do mean it like you should compliment uh people that you know are not toxic and you know are good teammates and and do 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 those small little things to help the team and you know what i'm calling myself off for it and i'm showing you that even i'm human even i forgot to do it even i don't do it all the time uh but i really do try to practice what i am preaching as far as we are quick to report and very slow to compliment. We do appreciate all the support you guys do give us. We do love the replays you send us. The email for that is in the description down below. Please remember to compliment good team play, good team work. We are quick to report, slow to compliment. Even I fail to recognize this at times. Please hit that like and subscribe button and have yourselves one heck of a great day.